Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. But most of all, remember to share so our videos go viral. Well, good afternoon again. We're inside. We're actually just finished up all of our switches and stuff like that for the electrical. Cause along with your fuses, most of your stuff has got to have switches on it too. So, so looking at this real quick, uh, we've got all of our breakers up here that, that provide the breakers for the 110 size. So along with the breakers and the fuses, because you need protection on everything, uh, you need switches, because that way everything isn't powered up. Because if it just comes off your switches, then it, it's hot as soon as you put power to that fuse. But like on this one right here, this is for the heaters we have underneath on the tanks. So we've got two little ones and two big ones. The black water don't have nothing hooked up. So along with this, nothing's hot down there until you turn it on. And then the little red button will come on. And that'll tell you which which one's heating up. And then you got the, the fresh water and the gray water. So we're going to have a little heating elements on, on both of them so that we don't have to worry about if the temperature dropped real cool overnight. We could just turn it on for 30, 40 minutes because it don't have to be on all the time. And they're on a little thermostat down there too, I think, like 32 degrees or something like that. But that would be all of our, our underneath tank heaters on this control right here. And like I say, looks like a wiring nightmare behind it but as long as you kind of mark stuff once you go to hook it up you just read what you marked it for and then hook it up and hopefully it comes out right if it don't you just have to trace it back so that that's kind of that one uh, these wires here for the thermostat and stuff have, we're gonna have a control board here actually this one right here is our water heater so if you look at this, it's got a, a little electric sign, and then it's got a little gas flame. So whichever one you turn on, like say if we turned on the gas, it shows you that it's on. And I'm also gonna put a little light beside it, like a little red light that'll come on whenever this switch is on to let you know that it is on. This indicator right here tells you if it's, uh, overheated or something or went off on a limit that's what that one does and then this one will turn on the, the electric so we've got the means to heat our water with electric off of these breakers off of our solar or by propane off our propane tank and back and then these are just kind of temporary switches here that we needed for a little rendezvous out this weekend this one's here it says water pump so my water pump underneath I can just turn it on and do that and we, we will have switches up here that these actually go to this is just like I say a temporary and then this one here is my LP tank so there's going to be a sniffer on it that if it sniffs propane it's automatically going to shut off our, air, our LP tank so there won't be any gas coming in and if we want to switch it off while we're out walking around or something like that we can always switch it off here too uh, just for extra safety thing and there's uh, gonna be switches back here for the AC unit that new unit that we've seen that'll go down to the power to the unit and stuff like that but that's kind of what everything in the back here is it's just just all of our switches this one here I haven't got hooked up, but like on our fresh water tank, you've seen the little monitors that we drilled in to tell us empty, full, or half full, or whatever on our tanks. And we are going to drill our gray water tank with the same system, and they hook up with these remotes, which then the red and white wire hooks up in this system here. 
and it sends a little signal I guess with that we'll find out when it's all hooked up but this will go on here and it does have the means on here to turn the pump on from right here so we'll probably put the pump off of that switch down there onto this switch and then it's got the means of, of testing so whenever you want to test it's going to come on and say your fresh water your gray water or your holding tank your black tank and it's going to come up and tell you is it a third full two thirds or is it full on that and then this one registers where your battery is at what's your battery charged at whether it's fully charged or whatever GNC means good and okay or something I don't know but this is another unit that goes in here there will be another unit with switches that's going to work our activators for lifting our solar cells up on the roof so there's a few more switches that, that go up here so once it's all and said and done there will be a lot of off and on switches up there and they'll all be labeled so we'll know what which one goes to because there also be like indoor lighting we're going to have some uh, little bitty lights going around that will come off switches from up here. So that's about it for the switches. So time's getting short. Got to go. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember to hit the bell for notifications. Bye.